Greetings, fellow traveler. Today I want to remind you that the assumptions that we hold reveal more about what we believe than what others believe. It's in being aware of those assumptions that we allow ourselves to not only make peace with ourselves, but also instill and act upon choices that reinforce new assumptions. This can play out many different ways among our journey. For myself, it played out in relationships with others. For you, it may be the same. For you, it may be relationships with strangers or lack thereof. For you, it may be simply the culture that you grew up in. I know I, I resonate with many other areas of life that uh, my assumptions were revealed to me in ways that I liked and ways that I disliked. That's okay. There's no avoiding it. One of the more important aspects is to find your peace with it. Understand what you can and cannot control. But as we, uh, I could say observe these assumptions, it's okay to not to, it's okay not to be overly critical. It's no point. Trust in what you know to be your perceived truth. Understand the role that your choices have played in that perceived truth. And if you are so inclined to change it, by all means do so. It's okay. It's not about a perfect answer. It's about changing from a past pattern. It's about moving forward with a new or renewed understanding. And even in doing so, what I've found uh, for myself along the journey is not only elements of grace, but a better understanding of why those assumptions appeared to be so real to myself. Now, in light of these revelations, if we will, it provided peace, but also an element of the element of power in knowing that I could change those outcomes by changing the patterns. Now, this is not a, uh, this is not a message to tell you to go out and attempt to control the world. It's about being open to seeing, perceiving, and hopefully understanding what we may deem as our own flaws. When we hold on to assumptions that are unchallenged by ourselves, then it's difficult to make sense out of what we're witnessing, participating in, not participating in, uh, reacting or responding to. It makes it difficult because we only want to see it from one point of view. But being able to shift the perspective just a little bit can give you a whole new understanding. It can shift your entire world. It can change your way of thinking so subtly that you've, you've now entered a, a space of clarity. I'm not saying that you will have all the answers. But what you will be able to do is see yourself differently. Understand your choices differently. This is not about intention. Because I, I would like to believe that we all operate more or less from a place of good intention, if not for ourselves and for others. But that doesn't mean that intention leads to the correct choices. Intentions can reaffirm the assumptions that we hold deeply without ever challenging them. This doesn't have to be something massive. 
it doesn't have to be a complete overhaul of our life, our journey, our reality. No, not at all. But being open to the possibility that maybe we can step back and take a different point of view. It would allow us to be aware of the space that we're operating from. The frame of mind that we allow ourselves to be in consciously or unconsciously. More importantly, we can provide ourselves the space to truly observe what is going on along our journey. It's one step at a time, y'all. That's all it is. It's one day at a time. It's one moment at a time. But give yourself grace along the way. See, there will be things that we're aware of that we believe everyone else is aware of. That couldn't be further from the truth. Because we're all seated within a certain perspective that that will not change for ourselves. That's okay. It's okay. It's not about finding a kumbaya moment for everyone in your reality that you experience. If anything, it's the opposite. It's about being okay with the idea that everyone's uh, so-called kumbaya moment or peaceful moment or peaceful perspective may be the opposite of yours. It's completely fine. But be open if you feel so inclined to pay attention to what awareness you find comfort in. Now, along my journey, I saw it more so with family. I saw it with acquaintances as well. Friends, yes. But it started with family. There was something that there were many things, many little things that sort of gnawed at me. And this could be from I gnawed at myself because I was emulating or copy, copying things that I saw. I was operating in a space of awareness where I wanted to be accepted. And this is not to say that I blame anybody for the choices I've made. No. I simply understood that there was something that was present before me. There's something that's going to be present after me when I'm gone from this room. But there's an understanding that I joined in that kind of awareness. I joined in that kind of perspective. I adopted that way of being. And in doing so, I open myself to the good, the bad, the ugly that comes with it. Now, I'm of the belief that this is with any and all forms of awareness. That's my choice of belief. However, in being able to step back, observe myself critically at times, I was able to see what I was perpetuating, the awareness that I had tied to my identity. And once confronted with that, I had to ask myself, is this worth holding on to? Is there something that you deem better for yourself, for your journey? How would this impact you? That question alone, how would this impact you, was so foreign to me. Because the usual question I would ask myself is, how would this impact others? How would this impact those around me? How will it impact those that I love? But once I was able to sit down and ask myself first and foremost, how will this impact you? It was like a scene from a movie where you have flashbacks of different occurrences, different, uh, different moments that appeared to be peaceful to you at the time, but it wasn't different times of chaos or drama. Uh, conflict 
and you begin to see the theme of that awareness. When you operated from that awareness, you saw a collection of hurt. Not only from yourself, but from others, welcomed or not. And you begin to understand how you came to this present moment with yourself. At least that was my experience. And I still have different moments like this. It's not the, I always remind you, I don't have everything figured out at all. To me, that's not even a goal. It's about being okay with who I am. And in sharing these statements, hopefully it gives you more comfort in who you are. And more importantly, leaving a space of opportunity within self to be open to the idea of a changed perspective, of a changed awareness, a renewed sense of self that is merely concerned with the evolution of self. At times, that will be lonely, and that's okay. I enjoy being alone, I'll be honest with you. I find a lot of peace in it. But for some, it's the opposite. They would like to have others with them. And I don't judge that at all. It's absolutely fine. Because if I could find peace my way, I understand that there's someone on the opposite side of the spectrum who finds peace in another way. If anything, I hope that this encourages you to not only trust in yourself, but trust in knowing that there are certain aspects of yourself that you can change for the better. It's not about having an overnight fix. It's about finding more comfort in who you are and knowing that where we are today, it's okay. Where you were in the past, it's okay. And wherever you're headed to, whether you can see where it is or not, it's okay. Trust in who you are. Observe your awareness. And allow whatever God or entity you believe in to take part in that. And step by step, answers will come. Many times in uncommon hours. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.